Okay, everybody. So, welcome to our training session uh, again today with, with uh, uh, our superstar trader, Alvin Newell. Uh, what we're going to show you today, and uh, we're recording these videos for our partners who can't make be on tonight. But what we're going to show is how to open up a demo account with a broker that we have been using. There's many brokers you could use, but the one we chose is FX Choice. And so, I'm going to turn it over to Alvin. Alvin, on you, bro. All right, awesome. Thanks, Uncle Les. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. Awesome, great. Um, welcome, everyone. Well, this evening, um, we're going to share with you all how to um, open your demo account because that's very, the very first step after joining IML um, Markets. I, Markets Live, <laughs> I apologize. Um, you need to do open a demo account and a live account. So we walk you through that. Um, let me switch my screen over here to um, go to FX choice. Come on. Okay, so let's go. So, okay. Um, here, I already logged, um, went to the website fxchoice.com, and this is a, the welcome screen that you'll see when you first enter that URL. You're going to click on open demo account. And after clicking on demo account, you're going to enter your email address, right? That's a valid. Make sure you enter a valid email address. I'm going to enter my email address here. Oh, hang on. Helps if you type the correct email address, right? And um, click next. And Gonna ask you for your full name. The country. Well, of course, I'm in I'm in the US, so you're gonna um, select US. Gonna ask your mobile phone. And your account. We want to put the MetaTrader 4 ECN, our MetaTrader 4 Pro, MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 4 Classic. We recommend that you go with the MT4 Pro. After selecting your account, then you select the currency. Uh, we're in the US, so we're going to be trading US dollars. And you select your leverage. I, I recommend leaving it at you know, 200 to 1. And your initial deposit, I recommend making it a realistic amount, one that you, 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 you know, don't go put any highfalutin number in there. I, I start with $2,000, right, which is a realistic number, or $1,000, or even $500 if that's what you're I, – I, I recommend, you know, my, to my – my, my business partner that you put a number in there that you think you're gonna start your account with so this way your demo account will be mimicking your live account when you're ready to go live there's no point in putting in an, uh, an, an account five one thousand dollars when you know you're gonna start with a thousand dollars it it to me it didn't help me so I you know I'm just saying you know it's the choice is yours if you but that my recommendation is to put the amount in there that that you you think you're gonna be comfortable with and then you click on the agree i agree to the uh, to receive news and promotional material and click open demo account after clicking and open a demo account you get your login information here right if you notice um you get a login username password and of course the server choice then you're going to demo mt4 pro so you make a note of that information are you gonna need it somewhere? Let me do this. Let me uh, let me go print so I can have that. Uh, my pen. Oh, there it is. I like to just print it to a PDF. 
make sure I have it print print as a PDF. Okay. And I'm gonna save it to nine markets live. I call this um FX choice pro demo. So if I need it, I can go back and I can find it. So you make a note of your um of your your information. Are you gonna need it? And then three, four, four, and um, it's password. If you notice, it's. Let me close this. All right. So after you um you you created your account, you can you're gonna get an email. So the email address that you, you put in there, and you're gonna be able to log in. All right. So let's let's do that. So now your account is set up. You're gonna download your MetaTrader 4 platform either to your desktop or to your phone. Right. You're gonna you're, you're gonna need that. It's, and you have links here to download your MetaTrader 4 for Windows or for Mac. Or if you are on an iPhone, you go to your um, your App Store. Um, for the Android, you go to your, uh, your Google Play Store and download the MetaTrader 4 app. So you're going to need that. Um, I have here a document from iMarkets Live that pretty much walks you through the, um, the, the, informa the, the instructions on downloading and installing the MetaTrader 4. It's uh, for Apple users, right? You're going to. Um, you will learn with this guide setting up and using MetaTrader 4, or to set up your brokerage account on the phone, or use Cyp Trades, um, which is one of our applications that we use here. So, so download MT4. First thing you'll need to do is download the MT MetaTrader 4 for your smartphone and our laptops. And just below you'll find a link. Of course, the link you can get that from the website, the previous website we're on for um FX choice and it walks you through installing and opening MT4 on your mobile. So after you download the app, you're gonna open it. There's an icon, the icon looks like on your on your um, smartphone. You tap it once and it should open the app. After the app is open, you're gonna see a screen similar to this, um, which is opening a demo account. For your iPhone, you're gonna tap um, and select settings. This is the instruction for the iPhone, guys. You know, make a note of it. Just tap your setting because the, you're gonna have to set up the account that you just opened with your broker with the FX choice on the smartphone so you can trade or set up. Um, you can do trading. Uh, for the Android, it's you tap the trade account and it would bring up another screen or the, you hit the plus sign up on the demo account of. I'm sorry. After the after hitting the trade account, the next step is to hit the plus sign, the plus symbol, and tap on open a personal demo account. So that's the display that you're gonna see on your smartphone after going through those steps previously. Opening a demo account in the search bar, you're gonna type FX Choice. And you should see those two um, links displayed below. FS Choice for Classic Demo, FX Choice Pro Demo. So, you, of course, we just set up a Pro Demo account. So, we're going to select the Pro Demo link to set up our account on a FX Choice Pro Demo. So, you're going to type in FX Choice and choose FX Choice Pro Demo from the list that is displayed. Um, you're going to Fill in your name, phone, email for leverage. Um, I'm sorry, opening a demo account. There's a link there. This is set it up. We already set it up, but um, there's a link there. You're gonna choose. I'm sorry, just going through this. Oh, oh, open an existing account, and when that link comes up, you're gonna put in your information, all your account information. This instructions. It's telling you to open a brand new account. I um, didn't even realize you could do that from your phone. Um, 
But hey guys, we're all learning together, right? <clears throat> so after setting up your demo account on your phone, um, similar steps you'll be presented within doing it on your laptop. I'll go to that in a minute. You're gonna tap the trade tab to the bottom. There's four, four, um, five icons towards the bottom of your screen. The, the leftmost icon is for your quotes. The next one is um for your um for your charts, and then the one in the middle is for for your trade. That's your trade tab. As we tap that to see all your trades. So we're gonna. We're going to walk you through setting up a trade on your phone, that is, on your smartphone. And this is where we, uh, we come to next, how to use the MT4. So from your quotes tab, remember the one on the left, this one here, that's your quotes. You're going to make sure you select that to display all the quotes. And if the quote that you, the, for the currency period you need is not being displayed, you hit the plus button, the plus symbol, which is toward the top of the screen. And it will take you to um to another list where you can select the currents appear from. You have the, you know different brokers display them differently. So, so um for for um for FX choice, you're gonna have um group, they're gonna group the, the currency pairs in groups from which you can select your currency pair. Once you hit that, it will then fall into this list here that is being displayed on, on the phone. Well, here it is. You'll have a better de depiction of that here. So you, in order to set up your trade, you're gonna hit your currency pair. From the code section, a pop-up will appear, and you hit trade. Um, this iPhone. In the in the Android version, you're gonna have um, new order. I'll be hopefully you see that here. And you're gonna to go to a market execution. You select the type of trade that you want, either market execution, you're gonna buy the buy limit, sell limit, a buy stop, or a sell stop. Once you select your um your the, the type of trade that you want to place, then you're gonna set your 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 lot size right here. And you can either increase it or decrease it. You set your risk, uh, this is term set up your risk, you stop loss, you take profit, right? The different right. take profit here, you stop loss. And then, of course, as mentioned earlier, you change the lot size, either increase or decrease it. Once, once you set, set all, um, make all your settings, you're gonna hit sell by market or buy by, by market if it's a sell order. Sell by market if it's a buy order, buy by market. Execute the trade. Yes, right. well, well, the sell order, choose sell by market. You know, I said earlier, if it's a buy order, then you choose buy by by market. Make sure you will not be active under the trade tab. So if you go to the trade I tab, trying to hit everybody that you can. <laughs> You see and, and, and Mike, and um, kind of got to know each other because of APS, because um, Pam signed up. And one has the mic open up there. I signed her up on the mic. Oh, no, yeah, mic or vice versa. So they kind of know each other, but not too well. But anyway. Um, <laughs> okay. Yes, I just muted them. I may have muted you too, Uncle S. Let me unmute that, you. That's okay. okay. Don't worry about I'll, it. Okay, great. So continuing on, uh, let me get rid of this my screen here. So you um, you can also go back and modify that trade, right? By hitting the if you hit your trade under the under the trade screen, if you hit your trade for a little more than a second, another window will pop up, and you can always select modify trade. If you need to modify it. But once you enter into a trade, guys, the only modification you can make to that trade is to change your stop loss or your take profit. To change your stop loss or your take profit. So to open a live, okay, so they're walking into opening a live account here. Um, open a live account. Okay, this is doing it on the phone itself. All right, so let me go back to um to the desktop. 
So now that you open your um, your demo account, the same process, you know, opening a live account. Okay, so let me, um, actually I'm logged, I'm logged in here. So let me go to accounts. So yeah, that once you open an account, guys, you, you'll be automatically logged in at that point. And if you go to accounts, you'll see it, you the, um, the account that you just opened, um, MT4 Pro, and the account number. From that same screen, you can also open a live account. So it's, it's, there are two buttons. You can open another demo account, if you so choose this. I can open a, a live account, the same project. Click on open a live account. You know, you, same thing, you select the type of account that you want to open with MT4 Pro. You know, put in the, your currency and the leverage. It's a similar process to opening a demo account. I don't want to go through and open up that live account right now. Anyway, what the heck, let me open another live account. I can always get one of you guys to fund it for me, all right? So <laughs> open a live account, select the, pro, um, the currency, US dollars, um, the leverage two to one. And of course, you notice the little difference here. It, it, there's a um, information which you have to um, select to, before you can proceed. This I declare my acceptance of the terms and condition. I've read and understood and agreed to the client agreement. So there, you, you, you have to click on these that you, you, you have read them and you agree to them. And then you click open account. So your live account is open. Get the live account number and of course give me a password, Epic Size Pro Live. If I go back to accounts, I should um, be able to see the okay. So live demo. Now I have two buttons, one live, one demo. There's my demo account, there's my live account. So I'm in FX Choice back office right now, and I can look at my accounts, right? My live account, click on it. Of course, gives me my account, the leverage, the balance. There's no balance because I'm, it's not funded yet. I, I have to verify this account. And you're going to get an email. It says here, if you wish to fund, trade or withdraw funds from your live account, you need to verify your profile. So if I click on this link, I, it, you have instructions on how to verify your live account. So how do I verify my live account? There are instructions here require ver verification of your identity and address. These requirements can be met by uploading documents listed below to your profile. To verify your identity, we need to see a clear color copy of the front and back of your government issued ID. This could either be done by scanning the document or by taking a high resolution digital photograph. A proof of identity document must show your full name, your photo, because there are instructions here, and gives the acceptable documents are a driver's license, front and back, passport, including the page shown, showing your signature, ID card, permanent resident or alien registration card, and of course, give it the format in which those, those can be um, taken and uploaded. So that's the verification process. You have to verify your, your live account. And I always recommend um, that you go ahead and do the verification, get your live account ready for whenever you, you finish your training and you want to fund it and start trading and learning and earning, as I call it. So that's the um, FX Choice Pro and Live account. For the desktop version, I already, you, 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 as I showed you earlier, you can download the software. To, this is what the desktop version looks like. Um, I use the PDF document here to show you what the, what the mobile version looked like. Right? What it looks like on your mobile phone. Right? Whether it be on um, Apple, iPhone, or your Android. That's what it looks like on your mobile phone when you load the MT4. On your desktop, this is what FX Choice MT4 looks like. Notice on the left hand side here is the market watch where you have all the list of all the symbol, all the currency pairs that, that is traded. 
and of course in the navigator um, below that you have um your your account settings your fx choice the pro demo so of course i have a couple of demos set up here there's one i haven't um there's one that I used before the one i just created is not here yet i can always add it here if i need to be um lm fx demo server and of course my um my pro live i'm not going to open that i don't want to display my um my my live accounts here of course, even though I may be plugged into it again, let me log in. So, <clears throat> so I'm now logged into my demo account with FX Choice. And the way you um, display your, the chart, you click, drag it over, and you, your currency pair to be shown here. Whatever the, and the charting of that particular pair. USD JPY, well, just click and drag it over. If you want to analyze what's happening, you can change um, change your time frame. Hour one, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes interval, depends on the interval, one minute. Look at the candle changing and within a minute, five minutes, hour one. Or if you want to, um, two bar, let me charts. Me populate this here line study, and of course, I find the cross here to be very handy. You can, you know, for you can whatever point in time, or you can know what the, the value was. If you notice it, it my cursor now changed to cross here, and I can move it anywhere across this chart to zero in on what the, the price was at that particular point in time. So that's a, that's a nice thing with the desktop version. You know, you can you can do more in depth analysis of what is happening um, with our currency pair. So that's how you set up a pro a live and a demo account, guys. I recommend that you do that from day one, from the, the very inception, get go, get started. Uh, the beauty of the demo account is you can make mistakes because it's not it's play money. So, so you you inevitably gonna hit the wrong button, and sometimes place a trade the wrong direction. Um, but don't worry if it, if it's a demo account. So, um, can you give an example of a trade that you take off uh, an alert and actually put in a demo account and tra and put a trade in so they can see how you do that? Well, okay. Well, um, my first my first week, two weeks in training, um. I use the Armani scanner, which is a web scanner. It's, it's available in your back office, um, and it's been displayed on the screen here now. This is what it looks like. Um, IML has done some upgrades, so they're a little different. Like, for instance, now what they have on the left, they have a navigation bar on the left. You can select different traders. Um, prior to this week, it, we only had one trader, JFX, but now they've included like four others. They have info in up Forex, XM, Pepperstone, Traders Way. So, um, but this, well, they all seem to give you the same scans anyway. Um, so, if you look on the screen right now, being displayed is um, the display for, jeez, uh, which one is this? Yeah, today I was trying to figure out where to read the pairing. There it is. Yeah. It's right there. It's right there. USD yeah. PHF. That's the US dollars um, being paired with the Swiss franc. And the scanner right now is, is recommending a, a, a what is that, Uncle S? What do you call that? Uh, that's a that's a buy. A buy, exactly. Because right. you, it's going up. It's going up, right? Yes. Yeah, so the entry point is in green. You just you just want to see if you're there, or you might it might be a little bit above or a little bit below, and they're anticipating. So you can set a market execution for a buy limit at that amount so then when it crosses it it buys it for you or you just go to market and buy it if you if you know it's heading in that direction right but that's so so it goes up right that's right so well so right now it goes. so right now the market is at 98 um 0.9844 and they were recommending a buy somewhere at on um, 98.40.415 so if you should go in and execute a market right now you're going to take a little loss if it should come down to the recommended buy limit right 
but if it if it turns around and you have your buy limit here that you will not hit it right so again it's it's up to you as a trader and i'm looking at the hour or uh, the hour chart and i know we have got 60 minutes right and more than likely a hour chart whenever you buy my personal preference is this whenever you buy and so close to the to, to the entry point I, I I I buy it anyway, and I did, I don't set a stop loss. So even if it comes down here, you know I ride it out because eventually it's gonna turn around and goes right back up, right? So it's a stop loss. The the scanner is recommending that you put a stop loss in at uh, ninety eight point uh, point nine eight two seven nine two. That in case you know they're wrong, and oftentimes it it is wrong, and it continues selling off, then you know you won't have lost too much. But you know, my I like to say I, I don't trade to lose, right? So for me, I personally don't lose use a stop loss. I'm not advocating that you don't that for you not to use stop losses because um the, the, the recommended practice is to use stop loss. But my my for me personally, I don't trade to lose. So you know I, I'm I don't set a stop loss because if the market goes down, it got more than up more often times it comes right back up. If it goes up, it's gonna come down. So you know it is always on a seesaw. So if it if if it continues in the in the trend, it was going on. If I should buy against it, then um you know with a little patience, it's gonna come back. And in this market, you have to have a lot of patience. You know you 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 can't be in a hurry. You have to be. So for this trade, you asked me to demonstrate that. Um, uh, for this trade, it's a USD CHF. And they're recommending a buy at point nine eight four five. You make a note of that. Point nine eight four one five. They have a stop loss at nine eight two nine three. And of course, you have a take profit one at nine eight five four nine. So if if you um on that video, I can show you from the um from my smartphone. But from the desktop, you find your currency pair here, right? USD CHF. Can we find it? Oh, yes, right up top. So this is it, right? If you double click it, a, a window pops up, right? You can set your volume, whether you you know you depends on, on what risk you 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 want to you're using um you can set your stop loss right off the bat 98293 and you can type it in guys right you, you take profit so 98549 right i told her if you want to go straight to the market, we could go straight to the market with it. I'm in my demo account. I was verifying that. So whatever trailer place here is going to be demo. So um, you can you can go to market, which I'm going to place a trade here, 98458, anywhere between there is it, what I'm going to get it out now. Or I can um, do a pending order, do a buy limit, right? If I want to buy, do a, a buy a buy limit. As, as the, because it has it didn't reach the um the recommended entry point as yet correct uncle Les? right so i could put that in here right and, and i would buy it when it crosses that point right exactly exactly right or you just hit buy and i'm looking at my cell phone guys as just like you're typing in there i just typed in it real quick literally you can do this trade in less than a minute yeah and, that's right uh, mm -hmm. and i just i just i'm just i just did the stop loss i did the take profit and I'm in with the buy. Let me see. It's point nine eight four. Is it's showing at point nine eight four seven? Okay, so so I just placed an order. Um, a buy limit. Uh, let me see if it execute. Don't this three. Then the buyer or sell. That's the other thing, guys. You gotta make sure you you do exactly execute exactly what is it that you want to do. So, in other words, I could also go straight to market. I could 
buy at market, buy those, what I don't put no parameters in here, buy at market, and the order will be executed immediately. So right now I'll get it at 98474. Uh, yeah, but uh, the take profit, you can't do the take profit one though. Um, the take profit one is 98454 we put in there. So let me see which, which one is it. Let me, so we got to do the second take profit. Okay. So this is a buy. What is the one I just got? So nine eight four. Okay, this is the one I just set up. I set up take profit. So. Uh, which one is the nice? Stop loss. Notice what I'm doing, guy. If I highlight it and double click, I can always look at my trail again. That's beautiful. That's what, that's what I like with the desktop version. Oh, that's my stop loss. Uh, which one is this? Was this a market execution? I think that's the one that market execution, right? But that's how you'd enter trade on the desktop version. Uh, of course, a little bit different on the on the um, on the. So, what was the second take profit? Um, I didn't set the second take profit. Let me see if this was the trade I just entered. Okay, yes, this is it. So, um, no, this is the pending order. So I can always modify it. I can do my take profit here. What was that? Nine eight five four nine. It was uh, nine. It was nine eight four five four. But I think the market is uh, uh, above it. So if you buy at that, um, the, 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 the take profit, it's a buy, well, right? So you yeah. can't really. Well, this, this was my limit order. I don't think it got executed. All right. So your limit order, you can put it in there. Right. So but the market, order, you can't do it. Right. The limit order, I can always do that. You know, but because it's not executed yet. Because I put a limit, it, the market was. Um, you know, so if the market comes on to the hit to this level, that order will be triggered because that, um, I want to, I want a nine eight four one five. I'm saying I'm going to buy it at that price, but obviously it's above that price, so it, you know, it will not exclude. So nine eight what? Nine eight four five four one five. Four one five. Yes. So that's the price you you buying it at. Yeah, that's the limit. That's the limit order that is in that is set up um, earlier. At this order, that's the limit order. Yeah. So right now the market's right above it. Right above it. That's right. The market. So you know that order, and it's a buy order, so it will not trigger until the market. If the market gets down here, then it will trigger. And then hopefully it turns around and starts going back up. But right now the market is above it at 98452. What was the take profit on it? Well, this is, is not triggered. The take profit on this is 98, 98549. 98549. Nine, yeah. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it with you. And then you could do expiration too. So in case yeah, you right. Yeah, the, the expiration date there. If right. you want, you know, say it expire. And what was the stop loss? Um, nine eight two nine three. Nine eight two nine three. Yeah, nine eight two nine three. So like, late, literally, literally, guys. I'm at, once you hit the buttons on the phone, it's just quick. You know, you 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 just um just have to figure out where the price you gotta put it in. Or if you buy the market, you just hit the market. Right. And even if you make it, you can modify it. But there's also a video in the back office that shows you on the iPhone how what it looks like. And that's what I used to kind of play around. Because at first, yeah. I was hitting the wrong buttons. 
Yeah, the, 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 the emphasis here this evening is to set up your demo on live account. Yeah, guys, so set up the demo and set up the live so you're ready. But right. a demo is what you play around with and make your mistakes in. And so, um, and listen, when you, if you do a bad trade, you sometimes they come back. So I had a trade the other day. It was down $170. And I, I just let it ride. And it, 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 it up, ended up making $25. I just had to wait a couple of days for it to come back. And uh, because the whole idea is the market goes up and down. What you want to do is you want to catch the trend when it's going up or when it's going down right, and ride right. it out as much as possible and so, minimize the, the fact that you go the wrong direction. That's right. So the, the experts recommend you, you trade with a stop loss. But here's the reason why I don't trade with a stop loss. Um, I, I don't trade to lose, period. <laughs> right? So... I eliminate the loss. Um, today I had a trade in. I was playing around with um, USD JPY, and um, the market was at 113.45 something um, yen to the dollar. And I put let me put a stop loss at 114. You know, way up, almost yeah, I would say almost 100 pips. And you would you know it, Uncle Les, that that trade. Close, top me out. I lost one hundred and twenty-eight dollars on that trade. I came back, and my original take profit. Right. I would have, I would have, it would have triggered that take profit, and I would have been in profit had that trade continued. If I didn't have the stop loss for it to close me out, it would have go down, come right back up, and 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 stop me out in profit. Well, here's the thing. It's the ability to write it out. So you have enough money in your account that you're not worried that you're tying up your trade. Exactly. So wait a few days, see what happens. Generally, most currencies don't totally <laughs> collapse. It's going to yeah. come back. It's an up and down. It's supply and demand depending on what the banks and traders yeah. are doing out there. So if you if you did a trade that went the wrong way, you just write it out. Yeah. It all happens in a few hours, unless Not even a few days. A few hours. Yeah. 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 So uh, that's why it's important to do the demo account. But here's the deal. What these guys are doing, the alerts we're getting, how, is just a tool. It helps you to understand it. Because if you, don't, if you don't really kind of try to understand it yourself or rely on people who know what they're doing, what you do is you're betting. It's like going to the casino. And we know the casino usually wins. But you don't want to be betting. You want to have educational guests. So... Um, we have people who, who are very successful who are um, actually sharing uh, trade information. So you have a couple of alerts. You going to go through one? Yes. Um, we have a couple of alerts. I'm, I'm just going to try and see if I can go through. Um, show you what the alerts, what it, it looks like. So, um, of course, share my email. As a, um, okay, here's an alert that came to my email. It comes on the phone. And on the on your on your um and on the, in the form of an email, so here's what you got. You get in the in the alert. It gives you the symbol. It gives you the time frame. It tells you what type of trade you're supposed to enter in. It's a sell. Um, it tells you the entry point. Right? So there's JP. J JP. No, okay, J B G P P J P J P Y. Okay, got it. So it says it wants you to sell at one forty nine nine sixty five. Right. Oh, it's a, that's right at market right now. Market's 149. Well, this, this was this was an alert for some time ago. It, it, this alert came in um, 636, some time ago, some time ago. Okay, so so this uh, is a I sell? This is an update. Oh, this was a, oh, this is an update on the, an alert that came in earlier. Well, I'm just giving you what the alert was. So they would send you the, this information, one for the, what to buy at or what to sell at, what type of order, and, of course, the lot size and stop loss. You take profit, and it gives you all of that. Now, this is an update. So, you know, the comment, there's a GPY sell limit entry zone. It gives you all of that, and, um, and it tells you exactly what you need to do. Right? This is a type of alert. It, it, so, and so, so, it provides updates. If, if it moves 20 pips, it tells you, move your stop loss up. So, you're, you're at the break even. Or you, you know, you, it, 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 it walks you through the trade from start to finish. So if you're if you're let's it's say awesome. you're trading and you make awesome. it like it moves up and you make you like you're up twenty dollars or something like that, you could move your stop loss up to keep so that make sure you don't lose that profit. It goes the wrong way, right? That's right. That's right. You move your stop loss up, so 
at least it stops you out in profit. You don't right. move back and take all your all your gains. So let me see. So this is take. Okay, well, let, let me put that trade in. So the price. What was the price again? Go to email. Let me see. The price was buy it at what? Um, sell. Don't so sell at one forty nine point nine six five. Sell. But this was some time ago, Uncle. So. Oh, so I might want to go in and market because it's at one forty nine sixty nine. Yeah, one forty nine nine sixty five. So it's it didn't pass the first take profit. So I could I could just jump in there. Right? Let me tell you, I made money on that trade earlier. It's going down as we're speaking. <laughs> so the more I'm talking, the less money I'm making. <laughs> I mean I made a hundred and fifty three dollars on that trade earlier today. So you made money on this trade already, okay? Yeah. So I'm telling you, it's, it's late. You know, you, it will go bad, but you know the, the, the time frame in which that trade was um, called was is as fast. Okay, no problem. So then, just so the key thing is when you get that and you send it out, and and we're gonna be selling, send, sharing this these emails with our partners now, so that you guys do it in your demo account initially. Play around first. You gotta find a currency, but I suggest you watch the video in the back office. There's a video under basics to show you how to use your on uh, the iPhone and on the Android. Uh, show me where it is. Actually, yeah. Yeah. So when you log into your back office, it's um on the I'm at Academy. Yeah. Um, I think it's basic three go or basic something one, like that. Basic two. Right. And on the basic one, it gives you history of Forex. It's important, guys, that for the yeah. new guys that you do the three modules or these three courses within 72 hours, right? Yeah. And it's, it's all video. You can always really listen. Sometimes I know it seems like overwhelming if you've never done it. So don't worry because, um, you know, when you start playing with the demo account, you'll start to understand a little bit what's going on. Right. And we're going to be feeding you these trades. So they, they, they have plenty of trades that they're going to feed you so that you don't have to worry about you learning the market overnight. Just work with it and do the best you can. If you do a demo account, you practice. So get your mistakes out of the way. So like right now, I know how to set a buy limit, how to do a sell limit. I know where they give me the alert that it's going up, it's a buy. If it's going down, it's a sell. I understand resistance. I understand, you know, there's a point where the currency, but charity looks like it's going to turn around because there's a resistance. People are supporting that price or there's a ceiling. So, you know, you see these things, you start to understand that you could read, the, you know, a trade and be a little bit more uh, efficient in doing it yourself. But we have experts who are making tons of money, who are doing amazingly successful reading these things and giving you these trades. And these tools are not very expensive. How much is that swipe trade uh, software, which is a slightly uh, you know, more than? The, the swipe trade, the app is free. Um, I, I think it's a monthly subscription of $15 extra for the wow. swipe trade. Right. And, last, and the first month, or last month, there were 78% um, success. success rate, meaning 78% yeah. of the time what they recommended made money yeah a total of 584 pips if you if you if you use just the recommended trade you'd have made five how much how much money is that for you alvin 500 pips if you did 500 pips on one of your transactions well if you if you're if you're trading um as i do at five dollars per pip to the to the month so that's that, that means you would have made 500 times five uh so that would be 2500 dollar profit for the month yeah. Almost three thousand. Right? Wow! If I had used just their recommendations. just their recommendations, yeah. So, yeah. So definitely. So the thing, guys, is play around with it. It's on your phone. Have fun with it. My wife, my wife says I'm addicted right now. So I know how you are, Albert, because she always sees me. Out. She says, "Why are you looking at that thing? Didn't you just look at it?" I say, "Yeah, I'm gonna see how this trade's doing." Yeah. And, uh, you know, sometimes, listen, it's a demo account, but I hate to lose even on my demo account. So uh, I learned a couple of things, you know. 
uh, so that you got to, when you take a loss, and, you know, because 20%, if they were 70% success, I mean, 22% of the times they guessed wrong, they had a loss. But if you have 78% success and 22% loss, you're way ahead of the game. Yes. Yes. So do you guys have any questions? Anybody has a question on? So um, just, just before we close on, let me, if I, if I can Go share ahead. my with, um, with, with those on here is that when I when I just started um, I use um, this was my tool predominantly um, no look at that you know look at what that's the USD CS, CSF it's going up already it's going to, into the buy in the direction they recommend it go, to go already right yeah it turned around yeah but notice it didn't get down into the recommended entry point right so that's why you you know and that's why I wanted to go back to it because I would have taken that trade, me personally, because um, it's a hour, right, chart that they did analysis on. Right. And that's what I work with predominantly. In my, um, and I made $200 a day, every day, religiously using this, this, um, this, this method. I'd, I'd look at the harmonic scanner. And I, and I, I, I work during the day, so I don't have the time during the day to do it. So like between say, 8 and 10, um, before I retire to bed, I'll, you know, you log onto the computer, look at the armor and scan and see what it's saying. And I take two or three trades, you know, like this, that like USD CH, CH, CHF, it says a, a buy, I'd go in and buy a market, I would set my um, take profit, I'd take profit one, and I do that for three or four trades and then go to bed. I wake up in the morning and most times those trades would have been already closed, they would have hit my take profit Line, maybe during the night it began to up and down, up and down, but eventually it would have crossed this point and I would be in profit. The trade's closed and I wake up to, to $200 profit 7.30 in the morning. I have nothing to do for the rest of the day until I come home the following evening because I'm going to be disciplined. I, I've, I've achieved my goal for the day and I'm not going to trade again for the rest of the day. I've set so goal you're going to send you $200 in this, all right, all right, so we got 20 trading days in the month, right? So $200 times 20 is $4,000 if you just huh, average your number. For the month. What? So that's $4,000, right? And how many times have you done more than 200? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, that's a minimum. I've never, done, I've never done 200. It's always because when you said that I do the take profit, Right, and I look at the tape profit, maybe 10 pips, 15 pips. Um, when you had it all up, it's always over $200, right? But, that, but that's my limit. I, I make sure that I'm doing up trades and I do a quick math on the, on between the, the entry point where, where I enter at because I wouldn't use this to calculate my, my pips because I, I look at where I enter. If it's at this point, it would be 9843, um, 439. And then I, I subtract that from my take profit. I know how many pips I have if it should reach that point. And I do a quick math as to what my, um, you know, what, what my, how many trades I need to do that with in order to make my $200 for the day. So show how successful you've been in your two weeks. Can you show us? Uh, <laughs> are you sure you want to see Uncle Lex? Yes, yes, yes. Because, well, you know, pe people, people, people want to know. Well, all right, let me... Uh, let me let me do this. Um, so so yeah. So um, uh, let me finish here first though. Yeah, you gotta finish it. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes um, it will. I may not wake up to my two hundred dollar profit. It will run until 11, 10, 11 o'clock during the day. But that's all right, you know. Um, so so long as I make my two hundred dollars for the day, I'm fine. I'm good with that. Now um, this account. Uh, let me go here. So this account I started it last week. Um, on the seventh, on the, the, the on was the that fourth. the fourth? The fourth, right? Started on the fourth. Two, um, and after after what? Two weeks. Let's see where I'm sitting right now. You started at how much? A thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're up to 2295 Right. Um, wow. This trade, okay. You see this trade, Uncle Les? Yeah. The one that's highlighted? That's yeah. the one I experimented with um, this morning. 
right? You, you notice what what happened there? Oh, if it's it, it stop loss. Yeah. It's stop right. loss, and it would have came back, and it to take profit because yeah, it, it, it turned it, around. It would have because if you look at the price right now, it's I mean maybe somewhere near here, USD JPY. I don't know what what it is saying right now. So, but I, I for some reason I said let me put uh, stop loss in to you know and I put it way back 114. Look how far away from my entry point it is. Right. Almost 500. You know, almost 50 pips away, right. right? And it went down today. <laughs> took me out of the trade at a loss 120. And, and, and it came back, and you would have made how much? Uh, well, um, my take profit was 113.2. Five, so that's about 25 pips, 26 pips. Times five, right? So Absolutely. you would have made $125 instead of losing 118. 200, 128, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's why I don't that's why I don't trade with stop losses. No, well, but a, but but you know, you have a big enough account, and I think you you're headed the game so much, you 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 could take 118 loss. So yeah, that before oh, before yeah. before you did that, you if you're starting out small, you gotta work your way up. Yep. You don't want to take big losses, so no, you can't. No, you have to. Right. Be, you have to ma follow the script. Follow the script as they recommend in those videos, and you know, do, um, the, you know, the videos are really good about talking to you about risk management. So yeah, they did a really good job. Yeah. So hopefully everybody got a feel for it. And guys, get your demo. If you have any questions about opening your demo account, don't hesitate to um, reach out. It's called fxchoice.com. Uh, it talks you through it. Open up a demo. Get the live account started because you got to verify. It takes two or three days and play around with the demo. And what I'm going to do for the people who are on here, I know who's on here, uh, Melvin, and I know who else is on here. I'm going to forward you the trades that I get from Alvin and just put it into the demo account and play around with it. Okay? So anybody listening to this, if you guys are a partner, uh, get your accounts up. You have to have your demo account up because – you know, it's the best way to learn. The videos are great. Don't wait for the videos to finish watching all the videos to open up a demo account. Yeah. Because the best way to learn is to watch a video and go on there and, and practice. Yeah. Uh, demo account is free money. It's like going to the casino with, some f with free money. I just, I just unmuted everyone on Bless. I don't know if anybody has any question. Uh, does anybody have a question? No, not right now. All right. so. Melvin, you're off and running, right? So get your demo account running. And it's, it's uh, there I you go. So we what we're going to do is what, while you're doing it is when you have some success and we get the live account running, you're making some money. That's how you're going to get your people your job. When you show what you've done and tell them that you have a way to do it. And then now you're going to get customers and partners. Because mm -hmm. Alvin, Alvin started, that's, you know, literally Alvin started a week week or two before I did. And when, it, when I realized he was doing it, I called him. I said, okay, what did you start at? He was at $1,000 and he was already at 3000 or something like that. So I was like, really? I'm like, I got to do this. That, that's, so, what the, that's what the other account uncle has. I can't and, say and then he, he, so, and he did the second account. So now, <laughs> so now he opened it up for two and it went for one and he's up to over $6,000 in total profits. <clears throat> total, total account. So, and that's just two weeks, I mean, three weeks. So you're going to your third week. Yeah, I am. That's, that's phenomenal. Uh, I believe anyone who wants to make money can make money with this. And that's a beautiful thing. It's, we make money helping other people make money, and, and it's, even, it's even better. So what we're going to be doing is um, I, when we get the leaders going and you guys going, is I want to once a week do a session where – we could do like a little investment club, tell people come on, get their, get their money together, but have them come on and start with a demo account, show them the success we're having, and then, then we could create interest in like an investment club because everybody who actually wants to do the investment club with you is a customer because we're going to have them sign up so they can get their own information, their own account, and even if they join a couple of sessions where they're watching us do it, they're going to be encouraged to do it themselves. So all we have to do is uh, work off the trading side. Does that sound good, Alvin? Yes, yes. definitely. And if, if I may uh, close with this, Uncle Les, I get asked all the time, you know, um, so in order to make um, 
some of those profit that I, I, I show all the while, how much do I have to spend? It's not a matter of how much you have to spend. It's, it's a matter of how much you have to risk, you know, um, in my opinion. It's, it's never how much you have to, because you... Well, the beautiful thing is they have leverage. And right, the, the, video leverage. Explains, uh, the video explains leverage. So when you guys watch those basic videos, watch when they explain leverage. So he may have $3,000 in his account, but he's not risking three thousand to make the six, the three thousand profit he made. No, he might have risked maybe five hundred of that. That's right. Or less. Or less. Yep. Because of leverage. That's your risk. What you're putting in play and at risk. So that makes it where you actually is better than going to casino, because it's like casino giving you house money to play with. Yep. So there you go. Alvin, as usual, very good job, my brother. Keep doing great stuff. Congratulations. Alvin got promoted to a P600. He's now with, uh, I don't know how many people you got on your team, but you're making $600 a month in bonus in addition to everything you've done, in addition to your trading. And how much are you, so you made basically $3,000 in a month, plus now you're getting $600 a month bonus. So, I would say that's been a good month, right? That, yeah, it has been. I, I, I mean, I'm, For I'm some going. people, that's a good couple of months. Yeah. So Think how, how many hours you have to work to make $3,000. <laughs> you mean right now with um, iMarket I, I Live? Yeah. Well, the training's been phenomenal, right? Yeah. Talk to I'm, the training. I mean, I don't know what to say about the trainer. It, it's it's just off the chain. I mean, you have you have guys, you have guys on like Jean Marc. Who, 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 let me he breaks it down to to a level that even a kindergarten can ex understand. You know, and analyze the trade and tell you how to you know look at the trades and how to choose the right. So not every trade that comes across your desk you're gonna jump into it. Let me let me let me throw that in there. Yeah, you gotta be patient. Right. You gotta be patient. You gotta look for the right one, and and you know, to be patient. This thing is not going anywhere. It's gonna. It's been around for years, and it's gonna be year, around for year, plenty more years. So I know, just saw two guys hit peak, uh, chairman two hundred and fifty, which means they're making two hundred and fifty dollars a month. They gave a profile on the two guys. One hundred and fifty thousand, uncle. <laughs> two hundred and fifty thousand a month. Yes. How old are they? One was like twenty four. Yeah, was twenty six. Twenty eight. Yeah. Twenty eight. And one of, them, one of them was had thirty thousand in credit card debt, um, and was living with his mom when he started, and now he's making two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month. Yeah, as a P six hundred uncle, that's all I need is twelve business partners, twelve, and four of those, four of those can come from my upline. Yeah, now this so this, this, line, line, this line 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 is eight. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, so the top line is truly amazing. It's amazing. So, I'm, I'm, I'm for, all right, guys. You know, this is um, this has been a session. If you guys have any questions, because it's recorded, I'm going to be uploading it to my YouTube YouTube channel and sharing it with you guys. So um, those of you who are on and those of you who couldn't be on. So uh, we're going to do this once a week, either during the week or on a weekend. And we're going to start preparing to get enough, when we get enough of us on here, we're gonna we're gonna do it where we invite prospects and encourage them to join our investment club. That's how I'm talking to people. This is my investment club, but I'm gonna show like everything else. We're gonna show our success first. Alvin showed he has his success. He shared it with me, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna have my success, and I'm gonna share it with everybody I know. And there we go. Alvin, thank you, my man. I appreciate you so much. You're very Guys, welcome. If you, anybody else have any questions? All right, great. Sounds good. All right, Alvin, we're going to wrap up. Okay, I'm uh, No problem. I'll stop sharing. Stop sharing, and then I'll, I'll close out. Okay. Have a great evening, everybody. Thank you.